Let's talk all about ostomies and stomas. First off, what is an ostomy? An ostomy is a surgically created opening from an area inside the body to the outside of the body. This creates a stoma or an opening where waste empties into an external pouch instead of the rectum or the bladder. Why would someone need an ostomy? This can be done to divert stool or urine when the normal route is unsafe or blocked. To let the bowel or bladder rest and heal after surgery or injury, and when a section is diseased or removed, for example, with cancer, diverticulitis, Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, or trauma. Now let's look at the types of ostomies. We have colostomy, ileostomy, and urostomy. If we break apart the word colostomy, colon is relating to the large intestine, and stomy means surgically created opening. So a colostomy reroutes the large intestine, so stool exits through a surgically created opening, the stoma. If we break apart the word ileostomy, ileo is relating to the ileum, which is part of the small intestine, and stomy means surgically created opening. So ileostomy reroutes the small intestine, so stool exits through a surgically created opening. If we break apart the word urostomy, uro is relating to the urinary system and stomy means surgically created opening. So a urostomy reroutes the urinary tract so urine exits through a surgically created opening. So a little memory trick to help is colostomy think colon, ileostomy think ileum, and urostomy think urine. Now let's talk about the stoma. Let's look at what a healthy stoma should look like. A healthy stoma should be pink, red in color, moist, slightly protruding, and painless. A compromised stoma would be a pale, dusky gray-blue or purple and black. This indicates poor blood flow and should be reported to the healthcare provider immediately. Other alarming signs are if the stoma is cool or dry to touch, or if there's a rash or irritation around the stoma. Now let's talk about some patient education for ostomy care. First is you want to educate your patient to empty the ostomy pouch when it's about one third full to prevent pulling and leaks. If the ostomy system is leaking, you want to change the entire setup. Don't patch it. And be sure to educate the patient to report a dusky gray or bluish stoma immediately. This can indicate ischemia or poor blood supply to the stoma. Now for skincare. You want to wash the site with mild soap and water. Be sure to avoid any perfumed soaps or lotions. Now for some diet modifications. You want to educate your patient to follow a low residue diet and avoid hard to digest or gas forming foods such as nuts and seeds, cabbage and broccoli, corn and popcorn. Now let's talk about all the different ostomy accessories. Knowing these items can help you feel more confident with your stoma care. First, we have an adhesive remover. This can come as wipes or as a spray. This can help ease the discomfort when removing the old pouch. Next is barrier paste. This is used to fill in uneven skin areas or folds to help the wafer stick and also helps prevent leaks. You can also use an ostomy or barrier ring that is moldable and fills in gaps to help create a better seal and prevents leaks. Next one is ostomy powder. This can be lightly dusted on the skin before the barrier paste to help absorb moisture and promote healing. Next we have deodorizer drops or tablets. These can be put inside the pouch to help neutralize odors. Then we have our stoma measuring guide. This is a must have to help cut the barrier the perfect size based on your stoma size. And finally, there are a few things to help your patient with activity. The first one is an ostomy belt. This helps hold the pouch in place during activity. There are also ostomy caps or mini pouches that can be used for short term things like swimming. Now let's walk through some NCLEX style practice questions about ostomies and stomas. The nurse reviews discharge prescriptions for a client with a new ileostomy, which should be questioned. Enteric coated potassium chloride, 10 milliequivalents PO daily, chewable multivitamin, liquid acetaminophen PRN, or sublingual ondansetron PRN. 
The correct answer is A. You do not want to give enteric coated or extended release pills to those with an ileostomy. This is because the shortened transit times prevents full dissolution and absorption, causing the medication to pass through undigested. The best way to give medications to these patients is a liquid form, chewable, sublingual, or transdermal. Let's do another practice question. A client is eight hours post-op after creation of an ileostomy. Which finding requires immediate action? A, the stoma is pink and moist with a small ooze when cleansed. 150 milliliters dark green liquid effluent since surgery. C, bluish gray cool stoma with minimal pain. Or D, burning sensation of skin under the wafer. The correct answer is C. Remember, a dusky gray blue cool stoma suggests ischemia and necrosis and should be reported to the healthcare provider right away. Don't forget to subscribe for more nursing school videos like this. Happy studying, future nurses.